with the blades attached, um, we're going to put on the rubber bands and then we can balance it. So to take the rubber bands, um, just spread them wide, stick them over the nose cone and make sure that they go on the inside between the hub and that little disc. Um, that's where we want them. And then stretch the rubber band and get it over the top of the little hook right there on the blade and it should spring right up. Um, sometimes it helps to have something long and skinny to get in there to grab the rubber band. So you grab it, bring it down and over the top of the little hook. You can just slide your finger forward to make sure it engages. And get the final one right here. Okay. So now I got all my blades. And the reason we want it, I don't know if you can see this, the reason that we want those rubber bands underneath the little the little disc is because if it's on top, then the rubber band can get up against the bottom of the nose cone, and that's going to prevent it from spinning. And we want to make sure that it free spins about the hub. Like that. Now one blade is always going to be heavier than the other and to find out we'll just give it a spin and it's going to be this blade right here that's heavier. Let me get a marker and I'll mark that blade. So this is the heavy one and what we want to do is to balance it so that when we spin it no one blade is always at the bottom every time. So you're going to take the clay from your kit. So now since that one's heaviest, I know these two are light, so I need to, I'm going to take, kind of split the amount of clay and I'm going to stick it here on the tip and press it down. This is probably way too much. Okay, so I'll give it a spin again. Okay, so now these two are heavier, so here's my black dot. It's on top. So now I'll start pulling some weight off. Take some off of that one. Take some off of this one. Can you see how I pressed it down like that? Okay, and then get it horizontal and give it another spin. All right, so now my heaviest one is still on the bottom. So I took off too much. So I'll put a little bit back on. You get the idea of this. You want to do this, you know, the, the more, the better you can get it to balance, the better it's going to rotate in the sky. Um, it takes out, it takes out the wobble when it's rotating. If you got one blade that's heavier, it's always going to wobble around that one blade. And that's why we want to balance it. Okay, you see how it came back? That's good. Uh, we are getting really close and you can you get the idea on how to balance it. Just keep balancing it until no matter which way um, you spin it, it, it comes out to a, a different one in the bottom every time. Okay, so this one came up twice. So this one's probably just a little bit too heavy. So I'll just pull a little bit off. Give it, a, give it one final spin. Okay, that, that looks good. Okay, so then we can 
fold the blades up and when you fold these make sure that the rubber bands aren't going to get caught in the corners uh, right here along the the uh, support arm so I just I just kind of spread them apart now when you spread them apart don't spread them too wide just maybe an eighth of an inch so that they're not into the groove you know this blue one here is definitely in the groove so I have to pull it out just like that that one looks good this side looks good this side looks a little tight so spread it out and that will that will make sure that they're going to pop open every time see I'm hooked on the bottom but see how it pops open if it wants to go and then we can take it and we can put it into the tube ideally you want to put the string in first but because the blades want to open up on me I'm going to put it in second like that okay. and when you get to this point where the little hooks are it's going to want to catch on the one of them so you just kind of wiggle it back and forth until you get them to go and then it will slide right in um, the final step is to put the launch lug on now if you're flying out of a, a tower which I recommend because you want to get the ex, extra altitude leave the launch lug off but if you don't have any choice or if it's the day is kind of uh, maybe maybe you thermaled one away already and you need to get another one back in that case put the launch lug on so that the rocket doesn't go as high um, well actually there's one more step um, and that's to make sure that the length is right and so I'm going to back up I'm going to do that first before I put the launch lug on because it's going to affect where the launch lug goes so I'll be in the next video I'll show you how to do both